Josh, a um, few weeks now since the, the playoff final win. Just talk through the what it's been like after the game. Yeah, it was good. Obviously, we had a good uh, a good night out on behalf of Toby, which is always good. Um, and then obviously we went out for our end of season deal with the lads, which was, which was good again. Got the lads together again, so we had a good night out. Went to Liverpool, so it's been it's been nice to have some time off now. How good was it for you and, and certainly the clutch of lads who've been here for quite a long time to finally get that promotion over the line, the one that you felt like you'd deserved all these years? Yeah, so I've been here five years now. We've been trying to get promoted five years and we've been there or thereabouts. You know, we, we actually won the playoffs once, it didn't go up. We got to the playoff final and beat. We've had two COVID seasons, but to actually get over the line, it, it was good for the club, it was good for the people around the club. You know, Toby, Lisa, they work hard. They put a lot into the club, so... It was nice for them as much as it was nice for the fans and the lads. I know you spoke about it a little bit, but what you know, just tell us what went through your mind in them last ten minutes after the red card and Oh, it was horrible. It was a horrible feeling. You know, it was like I felt like I let the lads down quite a lot. Obviously, in nil nil, going into extra time you think at the time because it's getting late. I didn't know what, what minute it was. You get sent off and then you, you hear the, the crowd go wild and it and you knew it, whose goal it was. So it was it, it was a it was it was a bit of sweet moment. What what were you doing? Were you in the shower or something? Yeah, I was in the shower. Yeah, I was in the shower and I was thinking, we just scored it's the 90th minute. What am I do here? <laughs> Look like a bit John Terry style. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to to do it in in that way, does that make it even even more you know even more dramatic or even more special? The fact that you went through them emotions where you know the semi final was a great performance, but it was almost like the game was won, wasn't it, in the first half an hour? Whereas so that I suppose you would have had that emotion of we might not actually do this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, to be honest, when I got sent off, I thought here we go again. No worries, it's all my fault this time. So it was a uh, it, it was a good feeling after the game. Definitely a shame for you as well because you probably had your. I'd say maybe your best form you've ever had here in the, that last sort of 10-11 game running of the season and a lot of your goals helped maintain that unbeaten run and, and ensured the, the home semi-final. Yeah, it, you know, it was a good run for myself. Um, you know, uh, the season wasn't the best in all, in all honesty for myself until until the end of the season. You know, uh, I got a run of games and I think it was the first time I played more than two games in the bounce. And obviously when you're scoring, it's hard for the manager to take it out. So... There was no taking me out and I kept scoring which was helping the lads and as a striker when, it, when it's in for you you get in that rubber of the green like the ball bubbles up to you and it's an easy tap and it just, just sometimes happens. Nice bit of friendly rivalry I guess between you and Jordan when you know B's like sometimes well, often likes to play with a one up top and it's like right if you're in the team you've got to score because you know you've got a really yeah. good striker. Yeah definitely team. you know Jordan, Jordan well, last season because he had a bad injury and it put him out for a lot of the season but Jordan was banging them in the season before so it was the same sometimes for me I couldn't get a team because we played one up we was playing one up top but it's good you know we're a team at the end of the day it's good to have rivalry it's good to it's good to push each other and get the best out of each other if we have squad numbers uh, for this season were you <laughs> what are you gonna get first dibs on I think you need to comment on that one <laughs> <laughs> obviously now you finally secured the promotion how do you look forward to this season? Obviously, you returning to that level again, and and, and how are you how are you looking forward to that challenge? I suppose. Yeah, as you say, it's a challenge. It, it, it's a new challenge. It, it, you go into stadiums, which are no disrespect to to the, to, to the level we've been at, are a little bit better. That you know, you go into like say Chester, who get a good following. You've got Scunthorpe, who've come down into the league. You got you got big teams in the league, so it, it, it it's a good challenge for for us as a club and for us as a team to see where we're at competing at that level how important was it that or, or, or what is it a sign of that all the squad most of the squad have signed for next season already is that just emphasize how tight of a group you are yeah definitely i think you know i think there would have been lads getting a lot of offers for to go over places and for them to to, to try and get moved on but you know the, the best thing about it for me is the lads and and it, it's a great great tight group because we had 16 players for the majority of last season, you know, sometimes we had lads out, we only had 12, 13 playing in it, but it, it brings you closer together as well because, it, you know, we, we don't we don't change the team a lot yet, like we don't, as soon as someone doesn't perform, we go and sign someone else and try and get someone else in. Bees believes in the lads they sign, so he sticks with the lads and, 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 and obviously, because we've been here together for a couple of seasons now, it brings you closer and closer. And obviously some of the things that Bees and Ravo put in last season that, 
I suppose a few of the results at the start of the season weren't going the right way. We were having a lot of chances and, and maybe not winning games, but they stuck to them beliefs and principles. And obviously, you know, look how it turned out. Yeah, I think obviously it, it doesn't help as well though. You had you had your two strikers out, which it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how good you know you look at like teams in the Premier League. You don't have a centre forward. It, it, it can it can harm it can, can harm you and it, and it did I think I think you know we weren't scoring goals enough goals and we were getting we were getting hit by like one chance where the lads have defended brilliantly all game played well and then the ball gets through scrawny and it's just a goal and we were getting that's how we were getting beat but you know bees and brave how they they believed in what they were doing and the lads believed in it as well so we stuck at it and, and we got our rewards by the end of the season. We'll have to address the elephant in the room. You're going to miss the first four games the next season um, with your suspension. How frustrating will that be for you? I think I think it's the hardest suspension to have. I think I don't, I've done it before where you know I've been suspended for the first two. You're working all pre-season, knowing that you, you you're not in contention at the start of the season. Whereas when you're a normal season, you're working hard because you're trying to impress. You're trying to get into that starting team. You want to be the first game of the season as a player. Everyone says it. You want to be playing. Well, obviously I can't, so it's one of them. I think I'll be on commentary that game, <laughs> two games. Well, thanks, Josh. We look forward to the start of the season. Cheers, James.